Mr. Vaibhav, congratulations on securing All India Rank 9 with the Civil Engineering Specialization in Engineering Sales Exam 2022. So we are proud to say that you are a student of Engineering Academy to Mains Live Postal Coaching Interview Guidance Program and of course the offline test series. Briefly tell about yourself. So first of all, thank you, sir, for having me here. And so to just tell about myself, sir, um, my name is Bhavo Barsaya and I'm from Chhatarpur in MP. I did my schooling there. And after that, I went to complete my graduation from IIT BHU. I did my BTEC and MTech there. It was an integrated dual degree program. And uh, in 2020, I uh, passed out from there. And uh, from then, uh, I started to prepare for competitive exams, keeping in mind uh, of GATE and ESE. And uh, in the first attempt, I was uh, able to score 700 rank in GATE and uh, also reached interview in the ESE, but uh, didn't clear it then. In the second attempt, I scored 51 rank and here in uh, ESE, I scored ninth rank. Okay, great. So very great journey. Uh, did you get any campus placements? In your college, um, actually, sir, uh, I I have I had nine pointers ba back then, so I was uh, getting a lot of offers, but uh, I didn't uh, sit during the placement season because uh, you may be very focused towards the core engineering side. So uh, yes, I was actually clear in my mind that uh, what I wanted to do. Yeah. So prefix already our uh, operating system is uh, fixed. Okay, good. So, with respect to prelims exam, Mr. Vaibhav, so what was your preparation strategy with respect to general studies and technical? Sir, if I start with general studies, then, sir, uh, initially I started to, like, uh, go through all the subject once and just uh, give a brief reading of all the subjects. And in the second round, I prepared two, three subjects to, uh, on a very good level. And uh, mm -hmm. rest of the subjects, I just uh, like uh, uh, prepared them, but not very deeply. So, what are those subjects in which you you have taken a serious note in prelims of general studies? Sir, I chose those subject which I thought was were very static, like the uh -huh. engineering drawing, the, uh, okay. engineering drawing, quality and uh, environment. These three uh -huh. subjects I prepared very thoroughly. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of questions. I practiced a lot of questions in them, and uh, I attempted those questions very thoroughly. What about a technical paper? How you attacked the paper? 150 questions, three hours. Uh, so, like, so preparation strategy or sir, exam attempt, sir? No, no. Prelims exam. Yes, sir. In the examination hall. In the examination what hall, strategy sir. strategy you have followed? In the examination hall. Hall. Sir, in the examination also, um, my strategy sir, was to start from question one and go to question 150. And so no no looking here and there. If I if I'm able to solve it, I will solve it. Otherwise, I leave it. And I won't spend more than one minute. That was the uh, main point here. Main that point. I won't be spending more than one minute on a question. Mm. Okay, very good. So whether the time was sufficient for uh... Attempting all 150 questions? Sir, this year paper was, sir, I thought, a little bit easy. So I was able to complete it like 10 minutes before the time. My God. Okay. <laughs> what about the numerical questions without calculator? What is your strategy? Sir, uh, sir, I, sir, because I did a lot of practice, so I was able to solve them, solve the questions. And... The calculation part, sir, I was very, uh, like, uh, I remembered a lot of values, like a lot of squares, how to calculate square root very uh, quickly. And, sir, values like what is the value of root 2G? What is the value of uh, area corresponding to bar dias? So mm -hmm. I was able to sir, do it very quickly, sir, calculations very quickly. How many marks you secured in prelims, general studies and technical papers? Sir, in general studies, I scored 93 and in technical, I scored 210. 210. So, so overall was 303. Uh, three not, uh, three, 330. 303, okay. sir. 330. 
So after writing the prelims exam, are you confident that you will be getting a chance into mains? Um, sir, I won't say confident, but I know that I had a question of 20, 30 marks. Uh, mm -hmm. I had an edge, sir. Mm -hmm. So okay. I used it as a uh, like a question sort of question. Okay. So coming to the mains exam, so what is your strategy of preparation and in the exam hall also? Okay, sir. sir, during the preparation stage, sir, initially, so it was all hit and trial method. So I started with previous year questions. I just uh, go gone through them and I try to look what they are trying to ask. What is the type of question that they are asking? Mm -hmm. So I realized that they are not asking very deep questions. Uh, just uh, standard. There were some standard questions that were being asked a lot. Very so I. Yes, sir, repeatedly. So mm -hmm. I firstly prepared those standard questions very thoroughly. Mm -hmm. I made templates of them, uh, like step by steps. What, uh, what is the question? What is the procedure to solve that kind of question? Mm -hmm. So I made some steps, and I remembered. I uh, remembered those steps, sir, okay. of what those standard questions. And sir, on the theory part, sir, I I just chose the hard way, sir. I just uh, I just uh, used to write down the theories uh, uh, by hand on in a rough copy. So okay. by just writing, I practice the theory part also what very thoroughly. Sir, I took so I took the theory part very thoroughly, it? sir. What is your intention behind writing on the paper, sir? Uh, Sir, one thing I have learned, sir, if I uh, want to, if I want to remember something for a long time, sir, I I can do it only by writing, uh, mm -hmm. and not writing just once. I used to write it two, three times. Sir. Achha, very good, very good. How many marks you scored in the mains exam, paper one, paper two? Sir, I scored around two fifty uh, in the paper two and uh, one forty five around something like that in paper one. So paper two, really yes, 250, really fantastic. I think you might have been, got the highest in paper two. Uh, I'm not sure of that, sir. Yeah, but it's, a, it's not a, that much easier. Yes, sir, it's, it's a good mark, sir. It's a good, good mark. Good. Yes, okay. sir. Generally, good people speech. will get more score in paper one, less in paper two. But you see the rest, reverse. Okay. So, so this year, paper two was easy, sir. Easy. Achha, achha. Yes, sir. Okay, so coming to interview, what is, was your uh, style of preparation for interview? And in the interview hall also. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, during the sir, preparation time, sir, I just uh, prepared the facts, the, the, the factoids that we used to remember in the pre, during the pre-preparations. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, did a kind of preparation for a prelims kind of pre preparation because so the interview syllabus is so vast that I cannot prepare everything. So I make, made sure that I should be able to answer the basic civil engineering questions. So mm -hmm. I, it's, it, uh, it should not be like that. If somebody asks me what is consolidation and I won't be able to answer that. I made sure I won't be of that level. So mm -hmm. I just went to the basics during the entire interview mm -hmm. preparations. And sir, I used to prepare some uh, basic questions regarding my background, like uh, regarding my college, regarding my home, hometown and things like those. So, and also my BTEC projects, my MTech projects, I've read MTEC, so about my thesis. So I used to have some like 50, 60 questions uh, prepared with me, hmm. although they were not asked, but I prepared them. So in interview, and, uh, what questions they asked then? Sir, they were sir, uh, like totally different what for what I prepared. They were like zero question from what I prepared, sir. So, so it means your confidence levels they have seen. Uh, yeah, they have seen only the confidence levels, sir. Um, yeah. They asked from like uh, the chairperson asked from the current affairs what what was happening around and uh, can I, technical. Uh, can words. I ask you one question uh, related to current affairs? What they asked? Uh, sir, like uh, the, she, the Smrita Nagraj ma'am panel was there and she asked me about the water table problems in the Gujar, uh, in the Punjab. Uh, she mm -hmm. asked me about the uh, problems regarding the drinking water bottles that 20 rupees water bottle. What is the problem regarding that? 
and so current uh, affairs are related to our engineering only yes sir related. current affairs related to our engineering they are not completely different something what is happening to ukraine war they are not asking such questions no no sir and sir she asked me that i am from varanasi so <laughs> like a lot of people coming for the vishnar temple so as a civil engineer what are the challenges uh, uh they are in the city great mostly is so, related to our engineering Okay. Yeah, so the questions were like, uh, what is the prob, what is the solution as a civil engineer? She asked me a lot of times, what is as a civil engineer, what you can do? How many marks is secured? Sir, I scored one thirty two. One that you good sir. Any question on hobbies? No sir, no question on hobbies, no question on deaf. Questions on uh, puzzles, any quiz puzzles like that, mathematical uh, puzzles, anything? Uh, no sir. Okay. So they okay. were just grilling me, sir. Okay. So how much time it went on this interview? Sir, uh, I'm not sure of the time because, uh, like, it's not. I am not able to judge the time. But they asked me around seventy-five to eighty questions. Wow. So, <laughs> huge number. Huge number. It's a huge number of questions, sir. So because I was not bluffing, sir. So if I didn't knew any answer, I just used to say I don't know. So. There were a lot of questions that I say like only I answered only like thirty percent of the question. Seventy percent of the time I used to say I don't know, and mm -hmm. uh, so the number of questions were too uh, too high because mm -hmm. I used to pass a lot of the questions. Yeah, same was the situation when I attended my nineteen eighty nine UPS <laughs> interview. Almost sixty seventy percent questions I could not answer. Simply said, "Sorry, sir, I don't know." But in spite of that, I got. One hundred and twenty-eight marks. So okay. it's the way in which you address the board. It's an answer, yes, question and answer type. So yes, you confirm in that. So yes, sir. During the preparation, also, sir, I prepared. Uh, how to say? I don't know, sir. I prepared, sir, in a very two, three different styles, sir. I am, uh, I am unable to recall. I don't know, sir. I, I, I am not able to gather the information right now. Like two, three variations of I don't know, sir. Great. Great. Great, Vibhav ji. So, what is your father? Yes, sir. What is your dad? Father, dad, so, father. So, father, okay. Your father, Pitaji. Yes, sir. So, my father is a businessman, and we have a small business going Great. on. So. Congratulations once again. Convey our regard and pranams to our parents. Okay. So, sir, thank you. Sir. Any suggestion to juniors? I forgot actually. Suggestion. So my advice to the juniors would be sir to sir to clear any exam you have to be consistent you have to be punctual and you have to be of a positive mindset sir and uh, you have to be consistently uh, consistently uh, studying throughout the day uh, every day 6 hours minimum you have to study and yeah. sir advice would be sir to study 8 to 10 hours a day so to be very honest, sir, if we need to score any good rank, we have to study eight to ten hours, and there are no Sundays here, and we have to handle social pressure also. So I think uh, you have utilized the COVID mind. period properly. Yes, sorry, sir. COVID period properly you might have used. COVID yes, sir. COVID. <laughs> yes. Sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Bye -bye. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for having me, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you.